In this example problem, we'll find the empirical formula of an organic compound containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen using combustion analysis. Our problem reads, Combustion analysis of a 28.4 gram sample of an organic compound containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen produced 54.3 grams CO2 and 15.6 grams H2O. Find the empirical formula for the compound. Our first step will be to calculate the moles of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In this problem, we assume that all of the carbon in our organic compound is incorporated into the 54.3 grams of carbon dioxide. So we begin our dimensional analysis with 54.3 grams of carbon dioxide, and we convert into moles of carbon dioxide using the molar mass, and then into moles of carbon using the ratio from the chemical formula. And we'll get 1.23 moles of carbon. We also make the assumption that all of the hydrogen in the organic compound gets incorporated into the H2O. So beginning with 15.6 grams of H2O, we can convert into moles of H2O using its molar mass, and into moles of hydrogen using the ratio from the chemical formula. And we'll get 1.73 moles of hydrogen in our sample. To calculate the moles of oxygen in our sample, we first have to determine the mass of oxygen. We know that the total mass of our sample is composed of the mass of carbon, and the mass of hydrogen, and the mass of oxygen. So we can solve for the mass of oxygen by taking the mass of the sample, subtract the mass of carbon, and the mass of hydrogen. We're given the mass of the sample in the problem is 28.4 grams. And we calculated that we have 1.23 moles of carbon, and we can convert this moles of carbon in our sample into grams of carbon using its molar mass. And we also calculated that we have 1.73 moles of hydrogen in our sample, and we convert it into grams of hydrogen using its molar mass. Performing this calculation, we should get 11.9 grams of oxygen. Then, we just need to convert our 11.9 grams of oxygen into moles of oxygen using oxygen's molar mass, and we'll get 0 0.743 moles of oxygen. Now we have the molar ratio of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in our sample, and we just need to convert this molar ratio into the smallest whole number ratio of elements in our compound which is the empirical formula. In the strategy we'll use, we'll divide first all of our numbers by the smallest number so that all of our numbers are one or greater. And then if there are any fractions in our molar ratio, we'll multiply by a factor to eliminate those fractions. So we have the smallest whole number ratio. And anything we do to one number, we'll do to all of our numbers to maintain our current ratio. So first, we'll divide all of our numbers by 0.743, and we'll get numbers 1 or greater. When we look at our molar ratios, there are fractions of 2 thirds, 0.66, and 1 third, 0.33. So to get rid of these fractions, we'll multiply all of our numbers times 3, and we'll end up with 5, 7, and 3. So our empirical formula is C5H7O3.